Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Micro Investor, where we do technical analysis and price predictions on multiple different cryptocurrencies every single day. Now, in this video, we are going to be talking about Quant, Q-N-T. Now, Quant has become one of my more favorite cryptocurrencies to talk about and also to follow here. Um, but one thing that's interesting is that uh, if you watch the previous Quant video, I was talking about how we're now within a fourth wave and it's going to uh, see some pretty interesting price moves with inside of it. I was saying that we'd probably see it come down to around that 50% Fibonacci level of this, uh, of between the retracement of wave two and three. And seeing how we got close to that, I'm still not confident enough that that we've completed the the wave four this quick. I think that just like I had said that, that we're going to be seeing it in more of a possible three way move into that wave four, to complete that wave four. I still think that we're still within completing that wave four. I think it still needs to come down again. And then at that time, that's probably when we'll start to see the price turn around for quant is after it completes that. So what I think is going on right now at this moment is actually just still this, this ABC corrective wave here uh, and i st i'm thinking that even though we've seen it go down a little bit lower than i thought that we would see the a wave go down i still think that that was the a wave there we've come up it, within the b wave uh, no guarantees that we're uh, complete with this b wave yet that's all part of this wave four and then i still think that we're going to be coming back down within this c wave and i still think that we're going to be very close to around where we were at within our, our wave A, because we're this is just a corrective wave, so it's not anything more than that, really. So I'm thinking that it's going to come down close to where we're at within this wave A, um, but this could be a, possibly even a longer, so there might be a little bit more sideways trading within this, or this could be something that could happen pretty quick, because we could be seeing some of the other cryptocurrencies start to turn around, but we know Quant, has been doing its own thing here. It hasn't been following with what Bitcoin or Ethereum is doing. It's been, it's been pumping, even though a lot of the other cryptos were going down. So in this case, so seeing here on the four hour chart, seeing how it is kind of lining up in this particular way, that this might be what we might be seeing, this C wave uh, to come down within one more wave. And that just be the completion of this wave four at that point. So this could be something that we might be seeing go in for another week and after there's more confirmation of being around that, that back to that 50% Fibonacci level, so back to where we're at within this, the end of this wave A, that's probably where I personally am going to start purchasing some more quant and hope that we're going to be seeing this wave five have a pretty decent rally. So this is what I'm expecting here. So as we've seen our wave three, just uh, retrace where we're at within our wave two on the uh, downside from back in uh, December of last year. I think that our wave four will probably go to the same price as around our wave one, possibly not as low as it. And then that's where I think that wave five will have this, uh, this much larger price increase. So I'm really banking a lot on the wave five. We had a larger impulse within our wave three, and I expect an even larger impulse with our wave five as this all plays out. So. And that's the current plan with Quant right now. So the key price that I'm really trying to focus on right now is around uh, 150, 160, somewhere around there that we could be falling back down to within this wave C. I mean, but still that could be wrong. Still, we could have already seen that that correction happen and we could be seeing more upside. But I, I would just feel more comfortable if we were to see one more leg down instead before we sell the price turn around just for more confirmation because I'd hate to see the price to go up more, a little bit more, and then just have a big drop afterwards. So that's where I'm currently at. I'm still very bullish on quant. So I'm planning on buying around 160, 150, 160 around there is uh, where I'm trying to start buying more quant at that time and, ex and hope that this wave five is going to be that big wave of retracement. So anyways, that being said, uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe, new content coming out all the time. I'll keep you guys updated with Quant and of course, many other cryptocurrencies. So with that being said, I'll see you all in the next video coming here very soon.